l'homme idéal. Le lieutenant est complètement insensible à mes charges. Oh Yeah, well, I certainly think that Lucifer has evolved somewhat since we first met him in the first season. Um, he, uh, he, you know, he, the more time he spends around humanity, I think by, um, almost by osmosis, it's kind of filtering into him, um, these, these sort of human traits. The thing that I do, you know, I've always thought about Lucifer is that um, I think of him a little bit like a wild animal in that you, you, you think that he might be tamed, but at any point, uh, at any moment, he could turn around and, and lash out. And um, I still want to keep that element of danger with Lucifer, the fact that he's not completely in control of, you know, his rage and his emotions. But um, I think, uh, you know, the more time he spends around Chloe, um, the more understanding he has of, of other things, because he's a very selfish character. Um, and I think, you know, it's slowly, slowly rubbing off on him, this uh, experience of being on Earth. Uh, in the beginning of season two, Lucifer is in a state of paranoia. Um, he knows that his mum has escaped from hell. And he's convinced that she's escaped in order to come and kill him, basically, and seek her revenge for him... Um, being her warden and punishing her in hell for all these years. So he's kind of in a, he's, um, it's, it's a very sort of unrelaxed Lucifer. He's very nervous about what his mum's intentions are. Yes, I think that one of the reasons that I was attracted to the show in the first place was this new sort of spin on, on the devil character. Um, you know, everyone... Everyone uh, has their own sort of interpretation of the devil, who they think he is or what he does. But I love the idea that um, if we take it back before he was the devil, when he was still a son and an angel, um, and the fact that, you know, for whatever, whatever it was that he did that his father cast him down to hell for, Lucifer gets to a point where he's like, Do you know what, I don't want to be the devil anymore. And, um, and I want to be judged to be my own man. And... Uh, I'm, I'm sick of people thinking that, you know, I am evil and I make people evil I, and it doesn't make anyone do anything. He uh, he says that evil lives in everybody. He's just able to kind of draw it out. And I kind of, I, I like uh, that spin on it and I like the fact that we're taking the most irredeemable character in history or in fiction or non-fiction, as some people believe, um, and um, putting, him, putting him on a path of redemption. And I think that that's, you know, uh, there's a nice message there that, that um, ev everyone deserves redemption. What into them actually being together? Uh, I think, I think, I love Lucifer and Chloe's relationship. I think they are very um, disarming of each other and they are very, uh, they can be more themselves with each other than they can be with anybody else. Um, that being said, I think if we want to do this show for a while, for a, for a bit longer, then um, if Lucifer and Chloe were to get together, it wouldn't benefit the show so much. Um, it's very important. It's important to keep that tension, um, and I think that's a huge, you know, it's a huge part of why our audience love the show as well. Is is wondering whether these two characters will ever get together. Um, we've come very close. And uh, I'm sure they'll come close again, but uh, I think, you know, the nature of doing something like this means that you have to sort of preserve those, uh, those elements. Like Mulder and Scully. Like Mulder and Scully, exactly. Or like Ross and Rachel. And uh, Ross and Rachel and friends, that when they did get them together, they realised that they had to break them apart again if they wanted to keep telling the story. C'est la police! Y'a quelqu'un? C'est pas du tout flippant, tout ça. Je refuse de croire qu'une de mes anciennes maîtresses veuille en tuer une autre. Vous en êtes sûr? Mais dites-moi, vous êtes jalouse Veuillez attacher vos ceintures, messieurs, dames. Ma priorité, c'est cette enquête. Il mérite d'avoir une femme comme vous dans sa vie. Les choses ont changé maintenant qu'on a partagé une certaine intimité. On n'a rien partagé. Lucifer, la deuxième partie inédite de la saison 2. Ce soir, à 20h55 sur 13ème rue.